This exercise is fairly straightforward, but there's a couple of things that could catch us out if we're not paying attention. I'm going to come to those later. Um, I'm going to play through as it should be played to the metronome, and then I'll have a quick look at the, um, the little things that we need to watch out for. So again, we're going to look at 65 beats per minute on the metronome, um, and I'll take it through. first point I want to make is um, what fingers you're going to use to play the notes with. On this uh, particular exercise you've got open strings and you've got notes played on the second and third frets. So obviously for the open strings you don't need to use any fingering. For the notes that are played on the second fret uh, I'd advise you to use your, your second finger, your middle finger. And the notes that are played on the third fret I would use your third finger or your ring finger. So if we're playing a note on the third fret, we use the third finger on the second fret, we use the second finger. That's not shown in the in the music, but um, I think it's the best way to approach this. The exercise is four bars long, uh, but to get started with I'm just going to concentrate on the first bar uh, and then we'll build it up from there. And the first bar it's showing you the notes that you need to play and then we're going to need to play those that same pattern across the other bars but just to begin with we're just going to look at the the first bar of music so there's four notes we need to play but the thing to be aware of is that there's a rest in between the first and the second notes so rather than having the notes run into one another like this Need to be aware of that rest that means that we have to have a period of silence a stop between the first and the second notes so it's going to sound like this how are we going to achieve that well there's two basic ways we need to mute the string to stop it from ringing out so i can either use my right hand or i can use my left hand in this instance I've chosen to use my left hand because it sets me up nicely for the second note I have to play. So if you follow the tablature from the book, you're going to start with an open A string and then I'm going to use my third finger to mute that note before playing my second note, which also uses my third finger and carrying on with the riff. You can do the same thing using your right hand to mute. Um, found it simpler myself to use my left hand in this instance so instead of letting the note ring we need to mute it and cut it short I'd probably suggest before worrying about the other three bars is just practice that riff in that position until you're comfortable playing it so before we worry about anything else, we'll just keep playing that over and over again. Until you're happy playing it. Now, once you've achieved that, we can have a look at the other three bars. Now, if you were to read the music and play it as it's shown in the book, you will end up playing something that sounds like this. Which is not what we're looking for. What it's asking you to do is to repeat that pattern of notes but in the second bar we're going to start instead of on the A string on the D string so when it's showing you the, uh, the little zero for the open D string rather than just letting that ring for the full bar you're going to play the same pattern of notes but beginning on the D string so rather than having You're going to start on the D string and it'll be exactly 
exactly the same pattern, exactly the same technique for muting the note so that we can achieve that rest. But rather than beginning on the A string, we're going to begin on the D string. So if you want to, perhaps practice the pattern just on the D string over and over again until you're comfortable and then we can build it up to the full four bars. When we look at the um, when we look at the book, what we're actually doing is we're playing the the riff in the A position, starting on the A string in the first bar. In the second bar, we're going to play exactly the same pattern, starting on the D string. In the third bar, we revert back to playing the pattern on the A string, and on the fourth and final bar, we again play the pattern on the D string. So we get. That's it.